Anyone home? A certain someone is here to see her boyfriend. I heard he was in today. Hey, sweetie, happy birthday! Here's a birthday hug from your girlfriend. Surprise! I took the day off so I could spend it with you. I know you didn't tell me it was your birthday today, but did you really expect me to just let this day slip by? I don't think so. How did I know it was today? What, you think I don't know my own boyfriend's birthday? I mean, sure, we haven't even been dating for a year yet, but I have a sixth sense for these kind of things. Also, you have a Facebook account and I have a calendar on my phone. It isn't exactly hard to find out anyone's birthday these days. I think adding your birthday to my phone was one of the first things I did when we started dating. Besides, the thought of my favorite person in the world spending his birthday alone just didn't sit right with me. Not one bit. Uh-uh, no buts. Work can last one day without me. Now come here. What's a birthday with other birthday kids? <laughs> you still get all flustered whenever I kiss you. It's cute. Aw, don't be shy now. Aren't you gonna let me in? Thank you. So, what have you been doing all day? You looked... I don't know... Tired? Sleeping in? I see. It looks like you haven't done much of anything today. The curtains are still closed. Windows too. It's so stuffy in here. Your garbage bin is full and there's a bunch of dishes in your sink. Sweetie, I know it's your birthday, but that doesn't mean you can slack off this much. Jeez, now I sound like I'm your mother. <laughs> but you usually have a nice clean place whenever I visit. You didn't know I was coming? <laughs> that doesn't make me feel any better about this. So you only clean up whenever I come over, is that it? <laughs> At least tell me you've been taking care of yourself. <sighs> what a relief. I'd hate to think that my boyfriend treats himself the way he treats his house. Plus, I want this place to stay clean if I'm ever going to move in. <clears throat> uh, what? Nothing. Never mind. Hmm. What are these? Oh, you got a bunch of birthday cards. Why didn't you open them? You gotta open them. Come on, who are they from? Your grandparents? Oh, that's sweet. What does it say? <clears throat> Happy birthday. Sorry we couldn't visit you this year. Look forward to seeing in the future. Lots of love, Nan and Pop. Oh, that's so sweet. Wait, there's more. Hmm, we miss you our little... Bu bu bubble, bubble bear? <laughs> What's a bubble bear? Is that what your grandparents call you? Oh my god. That is actually adorable. Bubba Bear. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you that. Okay, okay, I won't. <laughs> Bubba Bear. <clears throat> right, have you eaten breakfast yet? You have? Good, then we should get moving. Yeah, that's right. You didn't think we were celebrating your birthday here. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got the whole day planned out. This girl doesn't go anywhere without a plan. Okay, so tell me what you think about this. First, you and I are gonna take a lovely little stroll down to that park near yours. A nice romantic walk where you can tell me all about your week. Also, I did some research online, well, Google, and it turns out that there's a little market festival thing going on there. I was thinking we could head in that direction and see what's what. Maybe find something sweet to eat, See if there's anything worth buying. Then I'm gonna do that thing I always said I was gonna do. That's right, I'm finally teaching you how to ice skate. Don't worry, I found an indoor ice rink. For like, I don't know, 20 bucks, we can go for an hour or two. Trust me, I'll teach you all the basics and then we'll be skating like champs in no time. You're gonna love it, it's so much fun. Granted, I haven't gone skating in years, but we'll be fine. It's just like, Riding a bike, I hope. Anyway, once we've mastered the ice, we can go out for dinner. You got a particular restaurant or food you prefer? Wherever you want, my trade. So, what do you think? 
Can this girl plan a birthday or what? What's wrong? You don't like it? I know you're usually a pretty indoorsy person, but you enjoy my adventures, right? You're not feeling up to it? Did something happen? Here, give me your hands. Sweetie, look at me. Are you okay? You just look really sad. I didn't notice it till now. I was so excited with all the planning. Sweetie, is there anything I can do to help? You know, I'm here for you. If something is bothering you, I want to know about it. Especially on your birthday. This is meant to be a happy day for you. Well, I'm not giving up. Whatever it is, it won't ruin this day. Tell me what's the matter. I'm here for you. Oh, sweetie, your parents said you were lazy? Useless? They actually called you useless? I can't believe they said that to you. On your birthday of all days. Oh, sweetie, that's a horrible thing to hear. I'm so sorry that happened. It's a day of all days. I'm sure they're just trying to look out for you in their own way. But still, they could use more tact and better timing. What were they thinking? No wonder you're in such a low mood. Anyone would be after hearing that. I hope that hasn't ruined your day. Oh, come here. Ah, oh, sweetie, I can't stand the thought of you sad on your birthday. I have to do something. Let's see. Hmm. Right. Well, that settles it. I know just how we're going to spend the day. First, let's gather up every pillow in the house. Blankets, too. And we're going to build ourselves a little pillow fort. Like this. Right here on the couch. I used to do this for my sister every time she was upset, and now I'm doing it for you. Pass me that. No, 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 the big one. We need the heavy pillows to act as a base. Now get this couch cushion. Lean it back here. Grab your blankets and sheets from your bed. That's right. Blanket on the floor. Sheet held up between these three cushions. And ta-da! One pillow for it to the perfect getaway from all things negative. What do you think? Mm, yeah, you're right. It is a little small. But I can only work with what I got, and you don't have that many pillows. Besides, the smaller pillow forts are more fun. You know why? Because it means that we have to cuddle up. Here, watch. First, I get in. And now you get in here. Where? <laughs> You're on my lap, silly. Don't be shy, get in here already. And watch your head. One wrong bump and this whole place will collapse. <laughs> it's okay, we'll just rebuild it if that happens. Now, lie down. You heard me, lie down. Head on my lap. Trust me, this is going to be so cuddly and relaxing. There's no way you're not going to have a big smile on your face when I'm done with you. There we go. Isn't this more cozy? Now I want you to relax. Don't worry about anything. Not your parents. Not the outside world. Close your eyes if it helps. Right now, it's just you and me inside our cozy little bubble. Our own personal snuggle fort. Let me stroke your hair.
there you go. This is my Rex. My little bubble bear. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to. Oh wow, your hair is so soft. I love running my hands through it. It's quite calming, actually. I can see you like it too. So, I just want you to know that you're safe here. I'm not going anywhere, and while I can't predict the future, I do plan on being with you for a very, very long time. I'm going to hold on to you until you feel better, and then I'm going to keep holding on to you. Because I want to. Because I care. I just want you to be happy for as long as I can. I want to see you smile again. I want you to know how much I care for you. And I know that some days that's just not possible. So, on those days, I want you to know that I'm here for you. If you need someone to vent to, or a shoulder to cry on, or even if you just want to be in total silence, I'm here for you. I'll support you. Because I want to. 
and you're definitely not useless or lazy or any other negative thing you might think. I don't want you to dwell on these gloomy thoughts regardless of who said them. Do you need anything? Here, let me lie down next to you. I don't mind being here with you. You're not useless or a burden. I know you're always there for me. And we've all been there. I've certainly had my fair share of bad days. I remember back in high school, I had no idea what I should do once school ended. I did reasonably well in classes, but whenever I was asked, what are you going to do next? I just froze. Every day my parents would ask again and again, and all I could say was, I don't know. Well, they hated that answer, and as the end of school approached, we would get into arguments, constantly, like, non-stop. They accused me of being lazy, wasting my potential, useless, when, honestly, I just had no idea what to do next in my life, and that terrified me, which in turn made me feel really bad about myself. Was there something wrong with me? Did everyone else have their life planned out before them? Was I actually lazy? <laughs> I remember feeling like I was being, I don't know, left behind by everyone. But that wasn't the case. Most people I knew didn't have a plan, and the ones that did didn't stick to it. Life happens, both good and bad. Years later, here I am, still kicking about, and happily so. And you want to know the funniest part? I still don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> so I understand, in a way, what you might be going through. And I can't promise things will always turn out well, but I'm here for you. In sickness and in health. <laughs> oh, sorry, I jumped the gun there. Um, you know what I mean. Anyway, what I was getting to... Don't laugh at me, gosh, you're terrible. Well, at least I made you smile. What I was getting to was that you're going to get better, and things will bounce right back to normal. You'll see. I love you. I'll always love you. Now, how about we spend the rest of the day cuddled up together in this cozy pillow fort? And we could watch some feel-good movies. Something warm and fuzzy, like a Disney movie. Or something from Studio Ghibli. Does that sound good? Awesome. You pick the movie, I pick the snacks. And, sweetie? Happy birthday. <laughs>